Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on solving trigonometric equations. Now, um, we're going to solve trig trigonometric equations using exact values now. So, what that means is you don't even need a calculator to do it. Okay, so all you need is a table of exact values. Hopefully you know how to generate them yourself. Um, but otherwise there's a good one on Wikipedia so if you just look up Wikipedia on Wikipedia trigonometric identity then you get this really cool picture here and it shows you all the possible values of cosine theta and sine theta at all of these angles around the unit circle okay so let's see this equation here. We want to find what theta is. Um, if cos theta is equal to 1 over square root of 2. So let's define a domain for theta. Find all values of theta if theta is between 0 and let's do 4 pi this time okay between 0 and 4 pi okay so how do we do that well let's have a look at our diagram and see if we can find this number 1 over square root of 2 in that table so 1 over square root of 2 it looks like it doesn't exist Right, what what we're looking at is the first value, the first value in each of these brackets, right? Because the first coordinate, the first point represents the x coordinate. X coordinate is cos theta. So at this point here at cos thirty or cos pi over six, the answer is square root of three over two. So the x coordinate of this point is square root of three over two. The x corner of this point is square root of 2 over 2. x corner of this point is 1 over 2. So we don't see um, 1 over square root of 2 anywhere. Now, the first thing we want to do is show you guys that 1 over square root of 2, if we rationalize the denominator, so hopefully you guys have done all the thirds tutorials. If we rationalize the denominator, so this fraction is still the same by the way rationalizing does not change the value of it so the bottom becomes square root of 2 times square root of 2 which is 2 and the top becomes square root of 2 so these two fractions are actually equal so 1 over square root of 2 is the same as square root of 2 over 2 so I'm just gonna write that here okay so because it is exactly the same we can just look for square root of 2 over 2 in this uh, diagram so square root of 2 over 2 is over here okay so we know straight away that the answer is pi over 4 in the first quadrant okay so we can say theta equals inverse cos square root of 2 over 2 okay and the answer is pi over 4 okay so um, you probably if you're asked to show all the working out you probably need to draw the unit circle so just draw a unit circle here okay and um, just say that when cos theta equals 1 over a uh, square root of 2 over 2 so just put here square root of 2 over 2 and then the angle is pi over 4 the angle to this point here the angle here 
is pi over 4. Okay, hopefully you won't be asked to draw the exact value triangle. But if you want, you could also draw the exact value triangle, which, which looks like this. If you don't know how to draw it, make sure you go back to our exact value tutorials. And then we have cos pi over 4 equals um, 1 over square root of 2, which equals square root of 2 over 2 if we rationalize it. Okay, so that's all the working out you need, these two diagrams, to get to this answer. Now it says, find all values of theta if theta is between 0 to 4 pi. So what does that mean? That means we need to find all of the x-coordinates on this circle, on the circumference of this circle, that matches our first point. So the x-coordinate, let's look down the x-coordinate of this value and we can see here there's another point on the unit circle that matches that same x-coordinate. So we just got to find out what this angle is. So this angle here is going to be 360 minus theta or sorry 2 pi minus theta so we got uh, 2 pi minus pi over 4 and the answer is so let's just do it using fractions so we got 2 pi over 1 that's times by 4 on both the top and the bottom minus pi over 4 so that's 8 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 right so I've just worked on this term to turn it into that using fractions and these two terms are still equal so now I just minus the numerator so 8 pi minus pi is 7 pi over 4 okay so that is the next answer 7 pi over 4 right so at this angle here let's draw it with a different color so this angle here from the positive x-axis all the way around to where this line is is 7 pi over 4 now let's have a look at the domain of theta the domain of theta is between 0 and 4 pi so what does that mean that means that we can go from the beginning okay so I'll just show you guys in another diagram so we go from the beginning we rotate a whole 360 degrees to here and then we can keep rotating so it's almost like starting from zero actually it's exactly the same as starting from zero again and then we're gonna rotate even more to four pi okay so that's two full revolutions so that means that to get to our first angle our first angle was uh, what was it pi over 4 so to get to this angle okay we could start from the beginning we could get to here for the first time and then we're going to rotate another full 360 degrees so get to it for the first time and then rotate another 360 degrees to get to it again okay so what is this angle we've rotated a full 360 from the beginning rotated a full 360 and then we add pi over 4 again so it'll just be 2 pi plus the uh, answers we've already received. So if the angle, if the domain for theta is between the angles 0 and 4 pi, all you have to do is get the answers for between 0 and 2 pi, and then add 2 pi to each of these answers. And that'll give you the next two solutions.
So theta equals uh, we have pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4 and then we have pi over 4 plus 2 pi and 7 pi over 4 plus 2 pi okay now let's work them out using fractions so pi over 4 plus 2 pi so let's um, times by 4 on both the top and the bottom so we have 8 pi on the top so that becomes 9 pi over 4 and then this one again I'm gonna make it uh, times 4 times 4 so that's uh, 8 pi on the top so that's 15 pi over 4 because 7 plus 8 is 15 now let's just check with the calculator because it needs to satisfy the equation it needs to satisfy this equation that we have here cos theta equals 1 over square root of 2 cos theta equals 1 over square root of 2 let's just check it with the third one so cos 9 pi over 4 and let's see what the answer is so put it on radians cos 9 pi over 4 and the answer is 0 0.707 and let's see 1 over square root of 2 and it's 0 0.707 And let's check the last one. So cos 15 pi over 4. Ah. And the answer is 0 0.707. So we have solved the equation correctly so these are the answers to our problem okay thanks for watching guys